wet dreams Searching for the quiet that you need to breathe Gave up on your sanity to hide behind your shadow While you tried to take the sun down Hearts don't ever change to gold After thinking that you're in the world alone No one ever told you that you have to fight for something Or you never learn to bet Hello guys, this is Sandra here And today it's an exciting video We're gonna start my new series that is called Use Them Shadows, which again, it's not something how I usually talk, but I thought it would be quite a fun name. But if you have a better idea what to call this series, leave a name suggestion down below. Now, I'm filming this before I filmed my intro for the series, so I might have a better name for it already. Who knows? But that's what I thought of calling it so far. And in the first ever episode, or part or whatever you want to call it in this series I'm gonna use this palette which is the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice palette beautiful beautiful palette that I got for Christmas and it's been on the market for quite a while now so it's not a new palette but it's a new palette to me and today I used this shade this shade this shade that shade in my brows that blue shade obviously as well and also this shade <laughs> a lot of shades all together and I love this palette so far and the looks that I can create with it I used it quite a few times over the Christmas period and haven't really had the chance to play with it a lot since then but I use it a few times but not a lot it's only the beginning of January or oh, almost said February but no January so far so I was really excited to be able to use this palette a bit more especially to create a nice colorful look I love a good color I think if you seen my channel before if you just scroll through the videos I do there are quite a lot of colorful looks involved I just love playing with color so without further blabbering let's hop into how I created this look and yeah just just let's go as you can see I already primed my eyes with my usual wet and well photo focus concealer and mine is in the shade what is it light ivory and usually I would set this with, you know, a skin colored powder, but not today. Oh, and I have to tap it before it sets in place. And before it dries, I'm gonna go in with the shade, let me see, what shade is it? A saffron. And I'm just gonna pat it on a flat brush in the inner and the outer corner. So just a small flat brush. And I'm gonna take that and pet it here and in the inner corner as well and I make sure to go a little bit higher up than my crease and I thought I was gonna try this technique I usually do like to set it but you know every once in a while it's nice to try something new and that's what I decided to do. It's a more rounded shape that you can later always change when you're blending it with an with another shadow. Can I talk or can I not? And you can always connect these two a little bit, like so. And I try to build up the intensity as much as possible. Now if you want you can always add a deeper shade like a dark brown or a black but I didn't want it to make it too dark. Now that this is done I'm gonna take a small fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M506 and without adding any product for it I'm just gonna blend the edges a little bit already. And I can always go back in with my flat brush and build up the colours again if it feels like it blended away. I did this quite a lot on the other eye. Then I went in with the shade Quicksand which is this beautiful pink colour and it looks like it has a bit of a satiny sheen to it. But when I used it to blend out my crease you can't really tell on the other side so it worked out perfectly well. And I'm trying to find my brush. Why can't I never find the brush I'm looking for? Oh, there it is. 
So I used this bigger blending brush and this is the Blankenverse Cosmetics E42. So I'm just gonna dip it in there, tap it off. And, oh, where is this glitter coming from in the middle of my forehead? Can you see that? Not sure you can. It's a chunk of gold glitter. Lovely. I'm just going to take this and blend everything out. As you can see, it just softens the edges, but it doesn't really give any shine or sheen. It's really nice. It would be beautiful all over the lid as well. Maybe not a tutorial. If you watched the intro, I explained there that if I have bigger palettes, I might do two looks. I will see. So this might be one of those where it might pop up again. But to start with, I just really wanted to use the blue shade that's called Evil Genie. I think it's what is how you pronounce it. If not, please comment me down in the description. <laughs> if not, please comment and I will try to correct my pronunciation. English is not my first language, so you know, it happens. And then again, I'm gonna go back in this red shade that we used first, saffron, and deepen everything up. And let me know as well, what do you think would be the best format for these videos? I think what I want to do is that I'm already going to do one eye, or at least mostly do it. Then I do the other eye on camera and then we can do my complexion together. Or if it's a really long eye look, I don't know why, but if it would be really long, then maybe I can just do the eye and then throw up my complexion without you seeing it. But I can still leave everything in the description box. And then... That's the video, that's my mindset at the moment, that one eye is done, then I do the other one, and then a complexion, or an off camera. Um, yeah, that, that, that's my idea behind it so far, but if there is any other format that you prefer, or if, you know, you have an idea of how you think this would be the best, let me know, I'm always open to other ideas. And as I go back in with the little brush that we used in the beginning. And again, it's going to soften the edges. I might dip it into saffron a little bit just to blend that outer corner. This would be actually quite nice with a nice pink as well or like a nice fiery red in the middle area. Oh, that would be pretty too. Now I'm going to take my concealer again. Actually, this could be quite nice with a brown as well, a goldy brown, but I'm getting sidetracked. I'm going to use my concealer again, put a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to go in with a little brush. Mine is from a brand called Fake Face, and I ordered a whole set of Amazon, I think, quite a few years ago. It was a really good set, but I don't really know anything of the brand. So I'm going to use that. It just has a little bit of an angle to it. Hold on. It has a bit of an angle to it, and I make sure that there's not too much concealer on it. And I'm just gonna cut the middle portion of my eye. Thank you, camera. I'm trying to make sure it's symmetrical as well. And I go, again, a little bit above my crease. And I'm more putting this down so the blue can be more vibrant. I'm not really looking for a really strong cut crease to be fair. Just blend the edges softly and also I can go in with my finger to tap it all in. And first I'm gonna go back in with a small blending brush, tapping it into the red shade Saffron. And just make sure that I have a nice strong color here and then I'm gonna dip it in the shade Evil Genie which is the blue shade and I'm gonna use another small flat brush but I can never find my brushes there we go <laughs> so this is even smaller than the one we used previously and I'm just gonna dip it in the shade and apply it 
Oh, it's so pretty right here in the middle. I love this shade. It's so pretty. Now obviously this would work with, I don't know, a black eye look or a grey one, a full on blue one, but there are not that many blue colours in this palette. But I wanted to have a bit of a contrast between warmer shades and this because, well, why not? And now I'm going to take the same little brush, take a piece of paper. I have a glamorous toilet roll next to me because why not? And I'm just going to wipe the brush on it, make sure it's mostly clean. Then go back into saffron with the same brush and just apply it on the edges. And then again, take this small blending brush, dip it in saffron, dip in the outer corner, the inner corner, the crease above the blue. And then I'm gonna go back again, same small brush, no more wiping, dip it into the blue shade. And again, just lightly brush it over the bits where we put saffron. So there are no harsh lines on the edges. And because of all the blending, I'm going to go back in again in the blue shade and just make sure it's a nice and strong in the middle portion. Oh yes. And now, because I got these beautiful glitter liners for Christmas, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in the shade Volume, which is this beautiful coppery pinky kind of shade and I thought that you know what it will go really pretty with this eye look if my camera decides to focus on it there we go look at it it's just so pretty I'm gonna take that let me scooch closer so you can see and I'm gonna apply it Just above the blue. And now with these, what I noticed is that I have to make sure that I either apply it above my crease or wait till it completely dries, otherwise it will end up on my eyelid and you don't want that. So I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit and then I'm going to go back in with another layer. As you can see there as well, it, it needs a little bit more than this. But while it dries, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is the black one and apply a small wing. Now it's a bit thicker than I originally wanted and it's because hopefully you can't see it but I try to put on some fake lashes. I Sorry, I can't look in the camera otherwise I might smudge my liner. But I tried to apply fake lashes and it didn't work out so I had to make it a bit thicker because you could tell where I took it off so. It was a whole drama, but never mind. Alright, my eyes are not fully symmetrical, so that's as good as it gets. And then I'm just going to go back in with another layer of the Urban Decay liner. Look, it just needs to dry. And what I did as well with the other one while it was drying, I went back in the small brush and the blue shade, which again was called Evil Genie. Well, I, I call it Genie. I might be pronouncing it completely wrong. There we go. 
just to make sure that blue is really popping. Okay, now I zoomed out and we're going to move on to the complexion also. In today's video, I'm only using natural light, so hopefully <laughs> it's going to turn out all okay when I'm editing. To prime, I'm going to use my Cover FX Blurring Primer, and it's something in a project pen and I had to cut it in half because otherwise I couldn't get the primer out. Even though once I opened it, there was a lot more in there than I thought. So now each time I'm just going to go in with my spatula and get it out, which, again, just like my toilet roll, really glamorous, but hey, it can't always be full glam. So, I'm just gonna warm that up between my fingers and uh, just let me see if I can show you how much it actually blurs just on half of my face. Will you be able to see it? I don't know. But I love the effect it gives. So that's the side where I have a primer, this is the side where I don't, whether they can see it in camera or not, I don't know, I definitely can. Maybe if I zoom you in, see the difference between this side and that side? I don't know, I can. <laughs> For foundation I'm going to go back to an old favourite that I haven't used in a while, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder, no, Light Wonder foundation in the shade Too Fair. Give it a good shake. There's not a lot left in there, I think, so soon I will have to get another one. But it's still enough for a good few uses. And I'm just gonna go in with a no, a no name brush, really. It's just a buffing brush, and I'm gonna apply that all over my cheeks. You know, if you want perfect skin, you know, go with a full coverage foundation, but that's not really my style. I don't even currently own any full coverage foundations, although I'm thinking of picking up the maybe the new Smashbox one, although I really have to hydrate under it. Or I don't know, if you have any full coverage foundations that you feel that is not overly drying and is cruelty free, please let me know. I really want to have at least just one, just in case I ever feel like it or I can mix it into my other foundations. Or you know, mix it in with a moisturizer or mix it in with a liquid highlighter and still get more coverage than my other foundations, but not overly a lot. And now that I look really pasty and match my neck, you can probably move on, but I'm gonna just apply a little bit on my jawline and a little bit there on my cheek where I have a few, well, spots on my jawline and a little mark on my cheek. <sighs> Hormones, yay. Bit more there. Bit more there. Bit on my nose. For concealer, I'm going for another old favorite, which is the Catrice Lasting, no, it's the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Fair Concealer in the shade Extra Fair. Which now that I'm super pasty, I can get away using. And I'm gonna apply a bit down there. Maybe just a little bit in between there. And then there. Because sometimes my forehead gets a bit too dark, so that will help. And just blend it in with my foundation brush. Sorry, I do notice I look down a lot when I'm blending it, so I'm trying to get better for the camera. But you know, old habits die hard. To give a little bit of bronziness and just a bit of colour and glow to my cheeks I'm going to use the Fenty Matchstick in the shade do you pronounce it cinnamon? it's written with an S S-I-N-E-M-O-N -E I don't know and I'm gonna I'm gonna apply it a bit higher where I would contour a bit there a bit there A little bit just in the middle of my nose. 
like so. And then I'm gonna go in, I think, no, this has too much foundation on it. I'm just gonna go in with a flat brush. This is the Real Techniques Instant Cheap Brush. And then I'm just gonna pat it into the skin. And I can use a little pulling motions on the sides of my face. But on my cheeks, it's more just like pressing kind of motion. Just so it already brings in a bit of colour to my cheeks. And then we're going to go in, I don't know if I'm going to bronze, but I'm definitely going to blush. So I'm going to go in a palette I haven't used in a long time. And it's the Sleek Highlighting Palette. And this is the Precious Metals Palette. And I'm going to use the shade Platinum, which is that white cream colour. So, back in the day, I thought that this is the one that everyone is talking about, but I think that was like the Solstice palette. Not this one, but anyway, this has three cream colours, so these three are cream. That one is powder, which is too dark for me at this time of the year anyway, and most of the year, to be fair. But I'm going to use this white one which has a little bit of a pink shift to it as well there on my hand, not sure how you can see it or not but I should probably use this with a, with like a um, sponge but I don't have a sponge so I wonder if I can use it with this it might all go wrong but I will try to use this Real Techniques regular edge, no not regular <laughs> Rebel Edge Medium Brush and just lightly tap it in I feel like if I go in with my fingers I'm just gonna I don't know, move everything so I'm gonna go a bit in with this brush uh, I might still have to go over it with my finger I'm gonna use another highlighter later anyway I just wanted to use this palette and then on the top of my lips I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker color which I think is called loyal loyal no royal gold I think eh, it's not a bad palette it's not my favorite it's pretty old to be fair I just wanted to see if it still works it sort of does Lately, I like to use my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and it was in one of my project pens before, that's why this shade is already missing, but lately what I like to do is to mix this yellow and this light highlighter shade to set my face so that way it's not too matte and it's not too glowy and also otherwise I wouldn't necessarily use that yellow colour, but this way is perfect. And usually I just take a fluffy brush, something like this, which is from Eco Tools, but it doesn't have a name on it. And I don't like a like a huge powder brush. I mean, I go through phases at the moment. I don't really use those. And just dip it in both a few times. And then I just swipe. Oh, there was a bit more highlighter on that side. Oopsie. It happens. <laughs> And slightly powder all around. On my nose, I just tend to use the yellow shade. And the next step, I'm gonna just set my eyebrows in place with the Revita Lash High Definition Eyebrow Gel. This is in the shade Soft Brown. And if you've been, you know, watching my channel for a while, if you've seen some of my tutorials, you will probably know that I like to set my eyebrows in place with a gel before I go in and fill them in, so I usually like to do this step after I powder my face and then I let it set and dry and then I go back in later to fill in any gaps that I might have I just zoom you in quickly again so we can move on to the lower lash line and I'm gonna go back in the shade Saffron and just apply it really close to the lash line on both sides so the brush I'm going to be using is the Zoeva Luxe Petite Pencil 240. It will allow me to go really close to the lash line. And 
and I will really go in till about halfway in and then I'm gonna take I would say the small blending brush that I use clean it a bit on the back of my hand there's not a lot of product on it to be fair and I'm gonna dip it in the shade quicksand sorry I really had to think of that and blend it out and I'm not gonna be really careful about it I don't mind if it comes down quite a bit and just connect it in the outer corner as well all right I did my mascara and my brows because I have two batteries for my camera and guess who didn't charge the spare one that's sitting on a side so I really hope this camera will last if not well I will just have to finish it later so for my brows I used a shade from the Fenty palette and I used the shade Hennessy, I think, which is this dark brown. So I filled my brows in with that. And then as a mascara, I used my Essence Lash Princess. And now for my waterline, I don't really have anything sparkly blue like that, which would be cool. But I thought I'm gonna try to use my Avon Trend, no, Color Trend eyeliner from Avon in the shade Turquoise which, well, is a turquoise. I don't know if this, if this will be pigmented enough. So let's see. Uh, not fully. Okay, I wonder if I should go over it with this one, which is a gel liner from Cryolan in the shade Sky Blue. Mm. This is a bit of a brighter blue, but I think that might work better. So let me just put this on the other eye anyway, just in case it changes the color of the cream liner. Now, I'm never too sure if it's a great idea to put a gel liner in the waterline, but it should be fine. So I'm just going to take a small brush. This one is just going to be one that came with like a Maybelline gel liner ages ago. And I'm going to just dip it in this cream liner, which is a really nice bright baby blue. Well, or sky blue. Yeah, I think that's better. Now how much you can see it, I don't know, and oh, my eyes are watering. I'm really not used to putting stuff in the waterline anymore. There was a time when it didn't bother me, but clearly we don't live in those times anymore. All right, guys, so my camera died. Great. <laughs> so it's a lot later now. Hopefully the lights are not too horrible. Let, let me zoom you in so I can show you the blue liner, which has been in my waterline now for about two hours, or an hour and a half, and it's still there. So that's great going and I think the blue just gives it an extra pop of, you know, something nice. So that's why the eyes are looking at the end. But let me finish my face and my lips. So because the eyes are quite strong, I don't really want anything really strong on my cheeks or on the lips. So what I thought I'm going to do, I'm going to use this Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice and I'm going to use just this natural nude but slightly pinky shade on my cheeks and I need a brush. <laughs> We're back where we started, there we go, I have a brush. Sort of clean. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that on my cheeks. Nothing too much, really. And now that it's done, I'm gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie, which is the the balm. I can think of that word, the balm Mary Luminizer. As you can see, mine is well loved, and I'm gonna use the same Becca brush and. Go in on my cheekbones and blend it. I love this brush so much. Do the same on the other side. A tiny bit on my cupid's bow. 
and a little bit down my nose and then to give some highlight to my eyes I'm gonna go back to the Fenty palette and in the inner corner I'm gonna use a mixture of Moroccan Ice and and what's the other shade? It's Sahara Stunner. So this white one and that pink one, basically. I really hope the video is not darker. In the mirror, I see myself a lot darker, but on the video it seems light enough. So I'm gonna just use my little brush from Sigma, and it's the E47. And I think it's something shader or something, but I can't read anymore, it's all gone. So I'm gonna mix the white and the pink and apply some in the inner corner. Just like that, I don't want it to be too much. And then I'm gonna use just the white shade under my brows, on the brow bone. I still have a little bit of a pink shift to it, really. And on my lips, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheek in the shade Iconic Nude. I'm just going to line my lips. And then to fill it in, I'm gonna use the MAC lipstick I have in front of me in the shade Patisserie, which is a bit warmer than the lip liner. Like so. And that's the finished look. Ta da! I'm done! So this is the first look in the series, I hope you enjoy this, it's just a bit of blue, a bit of red, but I think it still goes quite nice at the end together, especially with a little bit of pink in there as well, I just, I don't know, I like it, I like my colours. <laughs> but please let me know in the comments below what you think of the idea of this look, anything in between, <laughs> I just can talk as usual, nothing new there. and. Yep, if you like this, please give it a like and also please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this. I have a lot of new content planned of coming and I have a lot of videos already. A bit of makeup, a bit of, I don't know, everything else. <laughs> I'm just clearly horrible at describing things. But also if you subscribe already, please don't forget to link that bell button, otherwise you might not get the notification when I have a new video up and I think that's it for now I'm gonna go I hope you have a lovely day and see you next time bye bye searching for the quiet that you need to breathe gave up on your sanity to hide behind your shadow while you tried to take the sun down hearts don't ever change to gold after thinking that you're in the world alone no one ever told you that you have to fight for